And now to a story we've been tracking for five years. A Hudson Valley widower still fighting for her late husband's pension. News 12's Nadia Galindo tells us there's a renewed effort to get her the hard earned money that her late husband worked for and to make sure that something like this doesn't happen to anyone else. Losing a loved one is hard enough, but Judy Lynch has spent the last six years since her husband, James Lynch, passed fighting for his hard earned pension. He worked hard for many, 28 years he was with the state and he put in more than what the death benefit is willing to give me. It's a story we first told you about in 2017. James, a State Department of Transportation employee of 25 years, was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2016 and died a month later. The Brewster man was applying for retirement, but died before meeting the 15 day requirement for his application to become active. So his wife, Judy, was instead offered a death benefit, which would pay out significantly less than his pension. I would like to go back and find out who put this policy into effect to begin with and what the thought process was. After our first story aired, Senator Pete Harcum authored a bill to right the wrong, but it failed to pass both houses. Now another lawmaker is picking up the fight. It's heartbreaking. Obviously, these folks have lost a loved one. Many times they're in financially difficult situations. State Assemblyman Ken Zabrowski says several Rockland constituents are experiencing similar issues. He authored a bill in 2019. He plans to reintroduce this coming legislative session that would close this loophole by allowing eligible beneficiaries of state and local employees retirement system to choose between a death benefit or their loved one's pension if they applied for retirement less than 30 days prior to their death. Work the required number of years and died at retirement age. We should make it a much more rational system. That's what I would hope to achieve. Nadia Galindo, News 12. Zabrowski's bill has yet to pass both houses in past years. He's hoping this coming legislative session will be different.